Hello there, links here, and welcome to Paizur University Chapter 3 Cosplay Complex. Let's quickly explain to the new people here. Okay, first of all, let's turn the lights a bit. To the people here, what this is about. The title, basically, explanation. We are at university. The second part of the name is probably obvious. The first part. Uh, it comes from the name of a company in Japan that used to make pies, to sell pies as the first company, basically. Uh, first company ever, and they just connect the name. The company's name Zuri, and they made pies. They connected the name into one, and that's how the university came to life as well, eventually. Uh, but we study photography there, right? So we learn how to make photography of food, not only pies, but of food in general, to look uh, appetizing in the pictures and so on. Anyway, let's continue with the game. I don't know how much time has passed. And that's not what I wanted to do. Why did it skip? I don't know how much time had passed. But I woke up, slowly opening my eyes to find Karen snuggled up beside me dressed and asleep. Was that a dream? I looked around to see if there were a very maze of a broken desk. I guess it wasn't a dream. Karen sat up to the off the floor, yawning and rubbing her eyes. You blacked out. So I thought I'd have a nap next to you until you woke up. So that did happen. I looked down to find myself being still in one piece. Yep. I casually do what you've heard, definitely. But I'm still alive. Of course you are. Why wouldn't you be? But uh, don't suck, suck by, suck the life out of their victims. Not all of them. <laughs> I'm half breed. A what? I'm half succubus, half human. I can't suck the life out of people, but I do have some succubi succubi powers. Powers. I can do stuff for as long as I want without the side effect of killing someone. <gasps> nice. Wait, I can. I think Karen. Doing. You know what? For as long as she wanted, might kill them someone anyway, if, if, even if she wasn't a succubus. Why she crossed me? Did I say that out loud just now? That's me. She grabbed my nose and pulled it. Ow! What was that for? That only ever happened once and they enjoyed it to the very end. Uh. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Whoops. Her suspicious guilt is my implied she was talking about something she didn't mean to. You're uh, not telling me something, are you? <laughs> no, no, you're just imagining things, silly. Hmm. I'm sore. Oh, really? You want me to kiss it better? I knew it! You are reading my mind! Oh, yeah, you caught me. <laughs> I was stunned. How is this even possible? This is too much taken. <laughs> Karen isn't just a maniac, but a succubus who can do what a succubus does without killing them. And read their minds! Does this mean she's been reading my mind this whole time? What the hell is going on with my life right now? She pat me on the hand. Life is full of surprises. <sighs> and don't worry, I can only read your mind, since you've given me so much of your life force. I'm pretty sure she means what she means. We'll talk about this later. We better go find that costume designer, she's probably waiting. The who? I think Arlie did mess her brains out. How could she forget? Don't you remember? 
cute redhead happiness to to her blackmailed by a complete dope oh yeah now i remember <laughs> let's go make her happy i hope she has some good recipes for us <laughs> i've already i've yeah it's been three times today how many more times am i going to do it Lots more! <laughs> God damn it. We have to bake so many pies today. I just want to get those pictures, put an end to this craziness for today. But we're having so much fun, aren't we? <laughs> I get the feeling her idea of fun is not the same as mine, but I suppose I am. <laughs> Let's get going. Okay. Let's get going. Ugh. Hmm. No. Let Let's get out of here. Who were you looking for again? Oh yeah, it was supposed to be a redhead. So let's have our hopes up still. A red-haired girl with freckles. The lady pounced, taking a moment to think. Oh, you must be talking about Lena. Yeah, she left not long ago to meet a client. That would be us. Oh, really? Didn't she tell you where to meet her? Uh, no, uh, I, uh our manager uh, misplaced the details. Uh, well, she did say she was heading to the abandoned school building this morning. To where? Maybe that's where she went. Why she wants to meet you in that old haunted building is beyond me. Haunted. <laughs> I hate ghosts. Don't tell me you don't know about it. No? It said that the spirits of two students who started a cult are trapped there. One dark and gloomy night, they sneaked in the building and performed a forbidden satanic ritual. What a kind of ritual? One that would make certain sizes of their, of their bodies bigger. Oh, neat! Neat! To their utter surprise, their duel went horribly wrong, as most evil things usually do. Without rousing the spell, had made them become possessed by uncontrollable spirits. Evil ones, that made them. Wait, 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 wait. How can they not know they were possessed? Ah, uh, because uh, dark magic. Exactly that. They will controlling their body, make them walk to the roof. Then the one by one, they made themselves into Shish kebab. Karen was biting her nails and on the edge of her seat if she was sitting on one. Sidewalk pancakes. I was close enough. No indicators on that clock as well. It would. Oh, I like pancakes. Sure, if you like your pancakes as a bloody mess. They all jumped off the roof. <gasps> what? Like that wasn't obvious from the first words he said. Oh. Why didn't you just say that? Now the building is abandoned because they're ghosts around the halls and they're looking for something to do. Some do. You are terrible at telling ghost stories, by the way. Yeah, I thought you just said they were making pancakes. Yeah, because they definitely do. I mean, if we make pies, why not pancakes? <laughs> no, 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 no. They make themselves into sidewalk pancakes. I'm hungry. 
Can we get back to something more important? Why does she want us to meet her in a creepy place like that? It sounds really... Shady? No, actually it sounds... Trust me, it's not as shady as some deals I've personally had. I don't really... One, I don't want to know. One time I met this cosplayer who asked me to design them a costume that had tentacles. I don't think she's listening. When I brought them the finished costume, they totally flipped because they wanted me to source actual giant squid tentacles for the limbs. Uh, what? Hot? I mean, hot? I know, right? Anyway, so after finding a shady fish dealer, I managed to source some real life giant squid tentacles to make the new costume. And when I finished it, I totally screwed them over by charging a ton for it. Good. I mean. Whatever. It's definitely one of the shadiest deals I've had to do in my career. And I doubt that it will be my last. <laughs> what the? I told you. What the freak? Sorry for the yawn. But like I was saying, Lena's gone to the haunted building probably. Pro probably. Thanks. Well, I better get back to work. Good luck finding her. The costume designer waved us off and went back to sewing. I'm Tiffany, by the way. Uh. Hi, Tiffany, I'm Karen. <laughs> Bill. Nice to meet ya. Wait, Dad, Bill? Bye. Ah, I, I totally expected her to say that. But okay. <laughs> I love tentacles. I don't like them. What the hell was the tentacle story even about? I got my face trying to reset my thoughts. So we need to go to the abandoned building and maybe we'll find Lena there. Hopefully we don't run, run into any ghosts. Do we really have to go to the haunted building? I'm, I'm sure it's just a crazy rumor, don't worry. She was obviously afraid of ghosts, considering that Tiffany's lame story was enough to scare her. Don't tell me. Don't tell me you don't believe in ghosts. I, uh... Do you? Of course I do. Ghosts are creepy, lonely, boring, bodiless, dead people. They might be able to freak you. They might be able to do stuff to you in ways that people with bodies can do. But uh, they are too cold to really the other person enjoy it. They give me the chills. I prefer the warmth and also the living beings. Like this one. Think. She poked me. I'm glad. <laughs> there is a lot of things I've learned I may have to reconsider. Knowing that Karen is a real succubus means anything I previously thought to be just myth or fantasy could actually be real. Hell, even Santa Claus. Santa's just a lonely ass hermit running a sweatshop. He's a prick. What? Uh, Alright, uh, you can read my mind. Well, it's a bit hard not to, especially when you're thinking so loudly. You're like a poorly written dialogue in one of them visual novel thingies. Capital letters, girl. Who can get its stances right? Sorry, I just get real grumpy when I think of Santa. He never brings me the presents I want. I better change the conversation. We should get going. Lena's probably waiting for us. Should we be going to class first? It was obvious Karen was stalling. Surely didn't want to go to the haunted building. Probably, but I'd just fall asleep and be sent off to Evelyn's office again anyway. I guess. This red hat better be hot. Oh, oh, and those pancakes better be good too. Yeah, we'll learn how to make pancakes. No, there's no pancakes. I know, but I really want pancakes. God damn it, I want pancakes too. Should I make some today? Maybe I will have pancakes for breakfast. Who am I kidding? I'm recording until middle of the night. 
and almost until morning actually. I will wake up so late that it's not going to be breakfast. I mean, I'll still really need to walk the dog, so maybe I will do that before going to sleep and then I'll go to sleep and so on. Anyway. <sighs> Let's just go, girl. Let's just go. Yay, pancakes! I actually haven't had pancakes in a long time. So I feel like actually having pancakes today. Damn it. Haunted house, by the way. Sorry. Another yawn. Told you. Recording until late. I mean, still, it's only 20 minutes past 2, but still. I've actually woke up at 5 a.m. I rode back. Yeah, I had to type someone back. And I immediately fell asleep. And I woke up at 8 something. Because at 9 I start. No. I woke up at 7.50? Yeah, because yesterday I started the work at 9. Today I started at 8.30, I think. So 7.50 I was up and running. Not like literally running, but you know, I was on food already. Anyway, uh, the outside of the building looked like all the others. But something felt wrong about it. It was dead quiet. Because it's abandoned. What a creepy building. It looks like a good place to get up to naughty things. <laughs> How did I know that you were going to say that? <laughs> there are some sounds coming from the building. It sounded like moaning and not the pleasant kind. Oh no, the building is haunted. I'm sure it was just the wind. There is louder moaning. We completely froze. There has to be a reasonable explanation for this. It, 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 it could be our next client. Uh, uh, Lena, yeah, yeah, that one. Karen was covering her eyes. Why is you meeting us here? We will need to get in there. I'm not going to lie. I don't want to either. But we we, 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 we need to. If we want to get those photos from summer. I took a deep breath, calming myself. <sighs> we have to. She stamped her foot on the ground like an angry child. I really don't like her now. And the pout. <sighs> Let's get inside and find her. The sooner we find her, the sooner we can get it out of the way. I walked up to the main door. Karen covered behind me, holding my waist. I gave the door a good shot, but it didn't budge. Shite. It's locked. What are we going to do? We might need to go, go and get the key. Can we do that? Sure, sure. We can just pretend it's part of a photo shoot. Oh, I know. How about you just use your power to break the lock instead? Freaking what? It will cheer me up if you do. <laughs> but how am I supposed to do that? You can break a desk with, you know what? You should be able to break the door down. Okay, I guess that's a fair point. What should I do? <sighs> Oops. This game is hilarious, actually. In a weird way. Okay, uh... Let, let's, let's break the door, whatever. <sighs> I suppose I could just break the lock. Yay! <laughs> and, you know, after breaking the... After breaking the door, I was completely spent, dropping to the floor next to her. <laughs> I wasn't expecting you to drop the door... Uh, yeah, to break the door so easily. I'm as surprised as her. 
Yeah, by the way, first I was able to break the desk. Some weird sensations appear, now I'm breaking down the door. And with all of that being said, we finally decided to get up and look for... Oh, we are at Haunted Building Entrance! The building was dark! All the lights were off, except... That pink one behind me. And there was a strange, almost familiar smell in the air. What is that smell? It smells like... Pancakes! There must be pancakes here! <gasps> Yay! Who'd be making pancakes in a place like this? Karen sniffed around as you try and pinpoint the source of the smell. Okay, don't get distracted now, girl. We're here to find our next client. But I'm hungry! And I've eaten... And I've... I haven't eaten anything today! She makes a good point, I guess. I mean, technically she's been with me since morning. We haven't eaten anything. We should split up. Maybe we can find a pie. I mean, our client. <laughs> Faster. <sighs> Subtail. <laughs> what? I know Karen just wants to go find the source of the pancake smell, but doesn't feel safe in here. It's also really damn creepy. But then again, it might be faster if we do split up. What should we do? You know, I don't really... I wouldn't trust leaving a girl, even if she's a succubus, in a place like this alone, so I'm gonna stick with her together. We better stick there, it doesn't feel safe. I don't think we should split up. Why? Look how creepy it is in here, and who knows, you might run to a ghost. <gasps> ah, I hate ghosts! I'm a genius. She immediately latched on around my waist, covering her head into my chest. Okay, you win. I gently pat her head. If we stick there together, our client might find us instead. <laughs> I try my best to cheer her up. But I wasn't exactly thrilled about walking through a haunted building either. The thought of running to the real ghost still made me hesitate. Let's go! The quicker we can get this done, the better. At the very moment, a chill ran down my spine as a sharp gust of air blew from behind us. Uh, uh, did you just get a chill? Hey, there's something there. I could sense a presence coming up behind us. Karen's eyes were tightly closed as she firmly held on to me. I don't want to look. I couldn't move, and if I'm being honest, I didn't really want to. The soft sound of slowly approaching footsteps drew close. I don't want to look, I don't want to look. We needed to move, but we are frozen with fear. It's a ghost, I know it is. Uh, keep its cold, lifeless slime body away from me. Karen buried her face deep into my chest. Uh, I, 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 I didn't know what to do. I was terrified. Why the hell did we come here? Dude, don't move. Hmm? It sounds like a person. Put your hands up and don't turn around. I couldn't turn around even if I wanted to. Karen still had me in a tight grip around my waist and I put my hands up. No, no, it's a ghost. It's going to put its cold hands on me. What are you doing here? It sounds like a girl. We, we're, we, we're just looking for someone. I said put up your hands. I'm not going to ask again. How am I supposed to click to co co go with the text then? Click. A gun. That sounds like a gun. Uh, uh okay. My nerves were shot. Karn was caught up in her own nightmare, not alloging the situation in the slightest. I don't want a ghost! <laughs> I'm afraid of ghosts! <gasps> Karen, you, you you, better do as she... I didn't even get to finish my sentence before I felt the sharp crack on the back of my head.
my ears rung as I slowly opened my eyes. What the hell just happened? I see you're finally awake! You are not red-headed. A strange girl uh, in an orange bodysuit sat on top of me. She had me pinned to the floor between her thighs and held what appeared to be the end of a rope. Uh, well, ha? Huh? I looked down to see the rope wrapped around me. She was in the middle of tying me up. What the hell is going on? I'm sorry, but I have to take precautions. Precautions. I struggled, trying to get loose. What? Why? Who are you? I am. The girl paused, turning slightly and grieving a sharp look out of the corner of her eye. Nara Sumas. Not... not Samus Aran? Anyway, intergalactic space warrior of the new Terran solar system called Sign SA-0019. Nara Sumas. Uh... Hi, I'm Bill. Photography student of the planet Air. Wait, wasn't Karen holding on me before I was knocked out? Where's Karen? I'm sorry. I couldn't save her. What? What happened? Huh? She was taken by a tentacle monster. T taken by a tentacle monster? Those things are real too? There was much I could do to stop it. She was grabbed while we were carrying you to a safer location. And because of that, I was able to use my firearm. She pulled the rope tighter. She also didn't put up much of a fight. Should have expected that. Why am I not surprised? I've been hunting though that monster across the galaxy. And for some reason, they decided to take residence in this old abandoned school building. Okay, but why would it come here of all places? I do not know. The tentacle monster appears to be attracted to large concentrations of energy. Oh, that explains everything. One can assume at this very university that many of the students are gained in frequent activities. No surprises here. Maybe that's why it grabbed Karen. She has the most energy out of anyone I have ever met. If this is the case, it is unlikely to move until all sources of energy have been consumed. Or at least until it becomes bored and moves on. Until be Ha! Huh? Until it becomes bored and moves on? No! I want to destroy that tentacle monster. This tentacle monster sounds like more of a pervert than a serious threat. <sighs> Which means I have a window of opportunity to stop it. But I need your help. My help. She continued to time you up. Well, I can't really help if you keep... <clears throat> well, I can't really help if you keep tying me up. Nara quickly tied the final knot. Please don't underestimate your usefulness in this state. Uh, what, 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 what do you mean? Her hand slowly ran down her thigh. For no reason. Hey, what are you doing? How does this keep happening today, fall days? You may be incapacitated, but it does not mean you cannot be used to lure the monster here. Wait, that means I'm... I'm a bait? Yes, you are the bait. Crap! She reached down to the floor, feeling around, trying to find her pistol. But it was too late. The tentacles lashed out, grabbing Nara by her arms and legs. Ah, uh, what? How is this happening? The monster picked her up, holding her in the air. How? No! I was unfortunately powerless to help, as I struggled to free myself from the ropes, because I was tied up. And it turns out, Lina was... Nara. Nara was Lina, because she was wearing a wig. The tentacle monster lowered Lina, gently placing her on the floor in the end. 
Then the monster turned to face me, still holding the bodysuit. Uh, am I next? No, 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 no. It's not going to make me wear that thing again. No, 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 no. I, no, 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 I struggle even more than before, hoping to get free before the wreckles scatter away with me. No, 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 no. Then something unexpected happened. The monster held in us. The bodysuit in the air victoriously. Ah, oh, I did it. <laughs> huh? Did that thing just talk? Why? What the hell is going on? <laughs> Surprise! The tentacle monster grabbed itself by its shoulder and pulled its top off. Huh? It was me all along! <laughs> Karen! In an instant, my fantastical view on the world was shattered as Karen stood there smiling full of joy. What did you think of my super cool monster performance? What the hell was that all about? What? It was helping Lena roleplay. Hey, <laughs> wasn't it fun? Not gonna lie, I had the thought of hey, that uh, whatever her name was before, she was saying something about preparing a tentacle costume. Maybe it's that. I did not expect Karen to be a part of that film. Anyway, Lina slowly stood up, wobbling into view next to Karen. <laughs> Hello, I am my I'm Lina. Isn't she cute? Thank you for playing with me. I feel so much better now. Who was playing with who here? Be nice. She's our client after all. Uh You're welcome. Can you please untie me? I was still laying on the floor with <sighs> my hands tied. Why should we? <laughs> I think you're enjoying yourself like that. Look how Just look at yourself. I can't help it, okay? After watching Lina dressed as Nara, a space warrior, and so on, and Karen, anyway, yeah. Looks like someone else is into tentacles! <laughs> no. Be serious. Okay, fine. Karen untied me from the chair, brushing- wait, I was on a chair? Brushing her head against me as she removed the rope. I'll deal with this later. I stood up quickly, uh, getting out of the chair, finally stretching myself. So, did you really need to knock me out and tie me up? Uh, I'm sorry, I was just role-playing. I didn't mean to hit you so hard. Her stoic commanding at you, Asnara was now cute and shy as Lina. Wait, what? It was as if her personality completely changed. That's the point of role-playing. I even told Summer that I would be role-playing. Didn't she tell you? No, she didn't. Oh, I'm sorry I didn't. Don't worry about it. What's more important is... What did you think of my tentacle monster performance? Oh, that was so much fun. You're really good at monster cosplay. Really? <laughs> How do you make the tentacles do their thing where you... Lena's face went very red. I mean, no, 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 no one's ever made the tentacles do that kind of thing before. Is she saying this isn't the first time? It's easy! If you believe in your art, you can make anything real. What is real? Lena's eyes lit up as she playfully grabbed Karen with excitement. Yeah. <laughs> she became quickly embarrassed, backing away once she realized she was holding on to Karen. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. You're such a cutie. Ahem. <clears throat> uh, I don't mean to interrupt, but we better get out of here. You also might want to put some clothes on before you <clears throat> catch a cold. <laughs> Lena shrieked, covering on the floor. Trying to cover herself up as much as possible. Yeah, I'm sorry, I, I just... 
Can you turn around for a second? Uh, okay. Why is she being so shy suddenly? She practically had nothing to hide, considering previous events. Karen prodded me in the chest. Hmm? Don't be mean. I'm... I thank you for waiting. <laughs> I can't get over how cute she is. She's just like me. <coughs> her unexpected remark caused me to choke. I couldn't imagine her feeling as embarrassed as Lina just did. If Karen could, she would probably walk around naked all the time. I heard that. Stop reading my mind. Then stop being a jerk in her head then. Then, then. Huh? Huh? What are they talking about? Dun, dun. Okay, what's that on the door? Why is there a demonic seal on the door? Why are you asking me? Ah, uh, what's going on? We're trapped inside, it seems, by a demonic seal. What do you mean trapped? In like we can go outside? Isn't that what trapped inside means? Mm -hmm. Karen had a perplexed look on her face. What's wrong? I see it looks familiar, like I've seen it somewhere before. Shouldn't you have seen a lot of them? Not really. It's not like demons just cast this on every door. But the structure of it, it looks familiar. And that's important because... It's me. It means it's unique to someone I know, but I can't remember who. Karen was in deep thought as she stared at the seal, trying to figure out its origin. It was refreshing to see her thinking. At least I think it's supposed to be unique to its caster. I can't remember. You can't remember. I really haven't seen that many, to be honest. <sighs> Doesn't that mean it should be easier to remember? Um. I think the hamsters that run Karen's brain looked like they were about to quit. <laughs> Sorry. I'm only half human after all, but all the others suck could die, and demons can use cool spells. <sighs> I never learned a few little ones that I could be bothered with. <sighs> and the truth comes out. It's probably safer that way. Also, what was that about hamsters? Never mind, never mind. Lena. Uh, sorry, Lena had a look of extreme confusion as she listened to the conversation. Ooh, wait. Why are we having, even having a, such a casual conversation about Karen's abilities in front of someone? Isn't that why we're in this mess in the first place? I blurted out the first thing I could think of. Ah, no, nothing. What do you mean by half human? Crap, it's too late. We can say, oh, it's her way of role playing now. Don't mind, she just randomly turns that mode on. Oh, hey, hey, hey. we mean this. Karen's tail and wigs pop out of thin air. Surprise! Why would you tell her? <gasps> Lina's eyes lit up with excitement as she ran to Karen and poked her wings. So cool! Are these real? <laughs> Careful! I'm sensitive here! <laughs> Lina stumbled back, her face exploding with embarrassment. Oh, 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 sorry! <laughs> what a cutie! I'm going to eat you up later! Oh no, I'm okay. Um, I'm, I, I do. The troubling thing is, Karen is probably planning to eat her later with side, with a side dish, and very likely that side dish being me, or me being a main dish and her being a side dish, whatever. Okay, <clears throat> weren't you worried about people knowing? Why are you telling her? Does she look like the type that would tell other people? Look how cute she is. 
I'm not going to hurt one. Sorry. I, I like Karen. Lena's face literally filled up with embarrassment, blowing a fuse all out the top of her head. See? You should learn to trust cute people more. Karen started pulling on Lena's cheeks gently. <sighs> I tried to focus back on the problem at hand. The sealed door. <clears throat> How are we going to get out of here? Alright, hey? <laughs> We need to break the seal. There should be something or someone around that will help break it. So, someone who would be in a place like this. Ah, uh, actually, I... Last time when I walked past this building, I saw a succubus and a samurai through the window. That would sound odd if it was any other day. The succubus, uh, well, was... on the samurai and... I thought just they were just role playing in cosplay. But if I think about it, he really looked like he was panicking because she did stuff. Her face was going red. It was becoming too much for her to explain and think about. I I, I mean I, I mean it was not like I got any ideas from that. I just saw that it got the email. I thought it would be fun. <laughs> Her whole face was as red as she buried herself in her own embarrassment. I think you better calm down. We get the idea, yeah. I don't. <laughs> I want to hear the rest. Of course you... Wait. Someone dressed as a samurai. And a succubus. The samurai didn't happen to be dressed in blue, did he? Ah, uh, he... yeah, how did you know? Musashi... Oh, the weird guy you were talking to the other day. Does he always dress like that? I'm surprised anyone would blood. I'm surprised anyone would... Uh, you know, take interest in him. Even he's dressed like that. That just means the succubus was getting the life out of him. What if he's... <gasps> Musashi! He's probably not dead. But... But isn't what that what Sakubai do? Get their life out of people? For your information, you will take several hours to suck the entire life force out of a human. And it's enough loop. But... Dogo, sorry. But what if the succubus came prepared and they were going at it all night? He might be dead somewhere in here. I don't think he's dead. But how do you know? If he was dead, I don't think it would smell like pancakes in here. You've got a point, I guess. She was right. Okay then. I guess we better look around here. But what? What are we trying to do? Do we need to find the succubus I saw? Of course! Should be the only one able to break the seal. Well then, let's go find her. Okay. There's a weird vibe coming from that door. Yeah, there's weird sounds too. We stood in front of the door, trying to listen to whatever was behind it. The closer we moved to the door, the more we could hear strange but familiar sounds. What the hell is that? It sounds like... I think someone is making pancakes in that room. Maybe we shouldn't... <laughs> I wanna see. Karen quickly pushed her way past. Turned and opened, threw open the door. Uh. Karen seemed to be in a genuine sh state of shock. Karen, are you okay? Karen. Her eyes were fixed on something in the room. Her cheeks were bright red and mouth hung open. She was actually embarrassed by something. I think she's broken. What could be happening that would make her so embarrassed? 
Lynette, I looked past Karen into the room. Oh, oh my. Oh my, indeed. Okay. What the hell is your mom doing here, Karen? With Musashi? <laughs> I don't know. She was still in shock. I can't believe she would go and do that. Here. Considering everything else that happened today, it was pretty normal. But why is Karen's mom here? And in full circus form getting nailed... The spending time with Musashi. Hey, it's okay, Karen. Lena tried her best to cheer her up. At that moment, Karen's mom walked through the door. What the hell do you think you're doing here, children? Karen was enraged, stamping around and pointing at her mom. What are you doing here, mom? Don't you point at me, that's rude. Karen clinched her pointing finger into a fist. And who might your friends be, Karen? Hi, mom? I mean, I mean, hi, I'm Lena. Why aren't you the cute shy girl? I'm Tellarine, sweetie. And who's this strapping young lad with the... Oh my, the smell. Tellarine's eyes look straight at me. Don't you dare, mom! He's my familiar! Wait, shouldn't, like, she be my familiar? But, like... Oh, sweetie. How many times have I told you that's not how it works? I don't care! Ho 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 ho! A grin appeared across Tellaren's face, as if she knew what Kalaren really meant. Well then, sweetie. Does that mean you're saying? He's... Well, sweetie? Well? He's my... My... Karen's face went red. My boyfriend! Uh, I'm Karen's boyfriend! What? Ho 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 I mean, shock. That means Karen is my girlfriend. Yes! Oh, so cute! This is news to me. Why didn't you tell me? If I told you, I thought... She paused, shuffling her feet as she looked away. I thought you wanted... to... have fun with other girls? Yeah, I... That's true, I wouldn't want. I told you... That's not how it works for humans. But that's how I want it to work. Uh, I didn't know what to say. Lina quickly realized her role in Karen's relationship. Her face glowed bright red and was full of confusion. I, I, I didn't know he was your boyfriend. I just thought you were co-workers or something. And that other girl was your pimp. She's not our pimp. Ho 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 ho! What have you naughty children been up to, hmm? None of your business! Now tell us! What are you doing here, mom? What do you mean what I'm doing here? I own this place! Oh, I hope you can excuse the mess. I haven't had much of a chance to clean up yet. Ha how did you manage to do that? Isn't this building university property? Oh ho 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 foo. Not anymore. Now if you don't mind, I need to get back to your friend for round four. You're going to kill him. Don't worry. I'll have you know I'm taking good care of him. I'm keeping him well fed, so I don't accidentally do that. Ho 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 foo. If you'd like. You and your friends can come and join us. Hoo 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 hoo. Don't be so gross. Okay, fine. Be that way, sweetie. It's been a pleasure to meet you all. Ho 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 foo. Not gonna lie, the ho 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 foo is so annoying. Tellerin wait as she leaves the room. It was clear. But Karen didn't get along with her mother. Well, that was... 
awkward. Yeah. Karen, are you okay? Mm, she's such a biatch. She always does stuff like this. Stop! I didn't say anything. Karen's wings and tail spontaneously appeared, searching out like pissed of cat. I didn't know what to do. Do I do the normal boyfriend thing and try to calm her down? Or do I just leave her until she calms down her own? Come to think of it, does any guy really know the answer to this question? I mean... Over my head. Maybe this will help. Lena cautiously walked up behind Karen, grabbing her wings. <coughs> Karen let out an unexpected loud and erotic, eh, loud moan. Her eyes burned with flames as she turned to Lena and stared her down. I'll show her what I can do and can do. I, 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 I'm sorry. Lena's terrified face said it all. She was doomed. I didn't mean to. Karen grabbed Lena aggressively by the shoulders. Okay, let's not do anything crazy now. It was too late. Karen pulled Lena's face in closer and then... Passionately kissed her on the lips. Uh, what? Huh? But... Aren't I your boyfriend? What? Why? What's going on? I'm being cheated on. End of chapter 3. And that means the cosplay complex chapter is finished. We'll continue tomorrow. I'm going to sleep. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you have a wonderful day. And as I said, see you tomorrow in chapter 4 called Summer Showtime. Bye bye.